Moving on, the Carolina Panthers. And they, they've got a win total sitting at the exact same as the Falcons. Seven and a half to go over. Exact same odds. Minus 130 to go under, plus 100. And uh, we'll talk about that here in a minute. To win the division, they're plus 900. They are last. To win the NFC, plus 4,000. To make the playoffs, plus 250. And no is minus 350. They are projected favorites in only five games. They've got the 13th easiest schedule. So this team, as far as all the stats and odds and all that good stuff, sets up almost exactly like the Falcons. They have three straight win total unders do the Panthers. McCaffrey, the the star player, I guess you could say, missed 13 games in 2020. The season kind of comes down to Sam Darnold, I think. Uh, it, that's they, they made no backup options. Like, there's nothing else. It's just Sam Darnold. You're hoping that Joe Brady can perform a miracle. Terrace Marshall may have been there still at the draft. Uh, he's got a perfect passer rating um, on deep throws, which is absolutely incredible. It's yeah, possible. He's, he's got some catches in camp. That, that oh, yeah. Been, it's, wow. It's been unbelievable. <laughs> just yeah. unreal. It is possible that Darnold is just a bad quarterback. He ranked last out of 36 eligible quarterbacks in EPA per play and was last in QBR from a clean pocket. That is tough to do. Not good. But, like, from a clean pocket, he still couldn't complete passes. Like, yeah. that's that's bad. Uh, played the second toughest schedule in 2020. They went 3-8 and eight in one-score games. The opponents last year made 29 out of 31 field goals, which is, you know, ridiculous. It was the highest in the NFL. It's a luck stat. We get it. Uh, opponents only made 77% against them in 2019. Uh, but you got to figure out on the offensive line, like, to replace Russell Okung, can Little or Irving do that? We'll have to see. Darnold has never had this kind of offensive talent before in the NFL. That's right. Does that make a difference? I mean, we we shall see. I have got this team going under, partly because I've got the Falcons going over. I I would I want this team to be good. I want Matt Rule to be good. I want Joe Brady to be good. I think as soon as this team gets good, I think Brady gets a head coaching job. So yeah, I do too. Hey, give me uh, give me your thoughts here. I'm going I'm going under for even money. All right, so we're I'm we're literally in the exact opposite boat of the Falcons. Yep. I've got this team eight and nine, which for this like whatever you call this exercise, um, I guess <laughs> exercise. Sure, that was the word I was looking for, but I couldn't get it out of my mouth. For this exercise, I've got them going over, but this is a complete stay away. I do think that one of the reasons teams attempted so many field goals is because this defense was better than expected considering the fact that it was almost all rookies. Yeah, they drafted and like all seven of their draft picks last all year. All seven were used of the draft picks yeah. last year were, were, were defensive guys. I think that defense will be better. I trust Matt Rule. I love Matt Rule. And, and I think this team overall is substantially better. Is Darnold good? Maybe not. Is Darnold better or equal to Teddy Bridgewater? Probably. Okay, I can't in good conscience tell you he's worse than Teddy Bridgewater. I will. I will say this: I think he's got a higher ceiling and a lower floor. So okay, it might just be right there in the true, middle. But I'm gonna. But I'm gonna bet they're not gonna allow him to reach the floor. I'm gonna bet that they're gonna run a simplistic offense to help him not have to have to be be so like to the floor. <laughs> I think. I, I think saying. this team. I think this team is going to be better than they were. You know, I got them eight and nine. And and basically, I think the teams that they're better than, they will be. I think the teams that they're not better than, they won't be. And, you know, when it comes to the division, I think they're going to be tough to beat at home outside of the the Bucks. And and I think, you know, they'll struggle to win those road games. So, yeah, they open as, as close to 500 as you're going to allow me to have them. They with, open with, with the Jets. Game they open with the Jets, and then they've got the Saints coming in, and who knows what the Saints are going to look like. Then you've got at Houston, so they got a chance. Oh no, to, that's the thing is they can roll off a couple W's real quick. Yes, I mean they, they, you play at Dallas in Week Four, uh, then you got Philly in Week Five. I mean this they they got a they got a chance. Of, I think all, and defensively they're going to be significantly better. Maybe not significantly, they're going to be better. And with that, I'm okay. I trust this coaching staff. I am with you though. If if this team. If this team's competent, if Sam Darnold's competent, it's going to be real hard to keep Joe Brady. Yes. Oh, most certainly. If he the can, only the only if he the can only way him. Joe Brady would stay is if the only jobs available 
are awful jobs that nobody wants. Yeah. If you can find even one job with a, a little bit of upside, yeah. he's probably gone. Probably I, gone. I wonder, I wonder is he holding holding out for Cincinnati to call? Entirely possible. But now then the other co- question comes, because I've, I've thought about this and I've played this away in my mind, is would Cincinnati call him after they just had a really young, really inexperienced head coach not work out? Yeah, that because could be most owners most owners swing the complete opposite direction. Yeah, most of them do, but in Except this situation, for Jerry Jones, well, Jerry remember, Jones's coaches all look the exact same. This is a team, though. Thinking about the Bengals, this is a team that that just dra- like you knew that they needed offensive line help, and they talked themselves into drafting Joe Burrow's teammate from LSU. I don't th- but I don't think it was his teammate. I think they took the best wide receiver on the board. Yes, I yes. Think if there was a wide receiver better than him, I think they would have drafted that one. So in this situation, you don't think Joe Brady would be the best coach on the board? It's not that. It's it's I I don't I've seen owners. I've seen owners do this forever. I've never seen an owner outside of Jerry Jones back to back hire the same looking coach. They just don't. Once they fire one, they usually swing to an extreme of the other. I could see them going after an older veteran retread of a coach. Yeah, yeah, okay. I I, I do see where you're coming from. Or just not firing him yeah. at all, which is what they did forever. Just We're just we're okay just, with yeah. being bad. I mean, we talked about that with the Bengals. Like, yeah, even so, if he's bad, are they going to fire him this year? I just don't about know that that job is going to come open. Yeah, but, you, you might be right about that. You might be right. 